So uh, this is Imrod by Dimitri Parkin. It's a 7 million polygon model running at 60 frames per second. It's silky smooth. Uh, uh, actually, it actually runs a little better than that here, but uh, it does drop down to 30 frames per second at some points in time. It's running on a single GTX 280. Uh, currently, it's rendering at 1024 by 768, and there's no real reason why you couldn't run at a higher resolution. It's just uh, kind of what well, I was told that these projectors supported. So I'm going to zoom in on the face, and you can get down to the polygon level. So as you can see, there's no cheating here. It's dynamically streaming in uh, the detail levels, doing all sorts of optimizations to make sure that it's pretty, pretty picture perfect. And for the most part, it's pretty unnoticeable. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to strafe, which is the worst possible thing that you can do. And uh, the reason why strafing is bad is because the game has no idea what's coming next. It's like the worst case scenario. Oh my god. It, the, the only thing worse would be teleportation. And um, yes, yes, teleportation. And I don't, definitely don't handle that gracefully. But this is actually quite good. And this tests like uh, just, just how good the streaming is on here. And as you can see, I'm just going to like scream it over here. And as you can see, it's, it's like high detail. You can't even see it. I'm going to try to make this as worst case as possible. So. Uh, so you can, you can get down and on there. So uh, all the shadowing here is, is baked in. This isn't like real-time dynamic lighting uh, because all you really have is like a color per node, right? So, um, so, but you could do like as complicated shadowing as you want here. You could do your photon mapping or you could do an, all sorts of different types of ray tracing and get it looking really darn good. So now I'm going to zoom in on his hand and you can see that, uh, you can see that all the nails and wrinkles on his hand that the martyrs put into uh, to the thing. And you can actually zoom into the detail there on that. Yeah, I'm sorry for the, the, the crappy mouse. I just didn't have a whole lot of time, by the way. But uh, looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, this is, this is not id tech 6. This is just something that I've been working on with my brothers for the last few months, specifically for this presentation. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the node indexes. And uh, this is kind of what I talked about earlier where you would do the two render passes where you convert the, uh, you, you, do, you render out the node indexes and then you, uh, and then you'd convert those into colors at a later point in time. And um, so through this though, what you can see here is you can see the loading as it actually happens. And so there's no cheating going on. And I'm just going to kind of like prove that to you that it's actually going to stream in and then I'm going to back out and it's going to stream out the data. So this kind of shows that the technology definitely works, and it works exceptionally well on existing hardware. Uh, now, there are certain challenges that still need to be met and released, for example, by rendering an entire world, which is largely not a problem of the algorithm. It's largely a problem of, of uh, available video memory, uh, actually. So but that's the end of the demo. I hope you enjoyed it.